we talked about soft and hard light, and that we make a light like this, which is a hard light, into a soft light by making it bigger. What did we decide? It's easier to put it on and then build it, or build it and then put it on? I can't remember. Probably build it first. I actually am not sure that's right. Okay. Because I, I think, <laughs> no, I think building it made it really hard to, I think just Velcroing it, we were, let, let's try it. Let's try, let's try it this way. Let's try it this way. Okay, so what we have here is something that's very much like an umbrella. Okay? Now, clips on there, pretty sturdy. You notice there's a place here to put a screw in to hold it in place. Guess what none of them have anymore? A uh, screw. The screw. Ding, ding. All right. Now, for, for one thing, this works as a really giant reflector, much like that bowl is a reflector. And it's going to slide in here, just like any of the other. Yeah, even I think it's easier not to even open it. Here we go. All right, I'm in on this side. Click. Okay, let me try. Yeah. Let me get it in the middle. All right. I think we might be fighting each other. Let go for a second. Are we in now? Yep. All right, let's go. There we go. Okay. Let's make sure this is really tight. It feels like it's sliding. Okay. All right. So you see, we've got this big open. If we want to turn this small light source into a bigger light source, we have to cover this. And they provided us with some diffusion. And the diffusion just velcros very easily right into place. and easy, nothing to it. Now we've taken that small light source and we've turned it into this giant light source. Let's aim this for a second, the tray, and I am striking. I wonder if we're in the outlet that doesn't work. Let's try switching the outlet a little. That one must have been fine. Just takes a minute. Okay. Right. Well, that was kind of weird. Oh, there there we go. All right. I'm sure why that did that. Okay. Can somebody get the overheads, please? Now, whenever we make the light source bigger, is everything recording here? Yeah, I recorded that. All right. Whenever we make the light source bigger, it gets softer, right? So now we're looking at much softer edges to the shadows along the trace face. Now, thank you. One of the things you will notice is that when you put diffusion, when you make the light source bigger, it also goes all over the place. So right now, this light is hitting right the edge of this door. And it's hitting all of this, and hitting all of this, and hitting all of this, and it's going over to here. I can try to flag this off, and I'm going to be somewhat unsuccessful, because the light is so big, it's just going to go around. See how it just doesn't, I mean, it does a little something, but it's not doing a lot, all right? Now, also in this light kit, he said, and are you telling me it's not in here? What is it? Oh, here it is. I got it. Okay. Is this. It's called a grid. Some people call it an egg crate. What do you think the purpose of this? Isn't it directional egg light? Exactly. So right now, We've got this light streaming all over the place, all the way from there to there. 
If we do the same thing with this, he says, staring straight into the light, and Velcro it in front, of our diffusion, Velcro tends to stick together. starts around here and ends over there. We lost almost no light on tray whatsoever. So if you can look at this honeycomb, you can see that it's, I don't know, two inches deep maybe. What that means is there's two inches of shade on this light. So if, if, no, 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 never mind. So if I'm standing right here, before I could see the light, I now cannot see the light. I can only see the grid. I have to get to here before I can see the light. Same thing over here. When I was standing here before, I could see the light. I can't see the light. I can just see the grid. I have to go over here before I start seeing the light. So when you come across these grids, they are to direct the light. They're shaping the light, right? It's to limit the spill of the light. But we're not using this today. I just wanted to show it to you. So let's have the overheads on just for a second, if you don't mind, Kai. I'm going to save this. It's a very strange delay. Well, it's the power that's coming to this. It's got to be the right cable we're getting some power. Or it's a problem with this controller because it should just go off. Ah, I'm holding it too long. You have to punch it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do, and I'm going to hand this to you, Kai, if you don't mind. I'll let you break this down. Break this down if you don't mind. Okay. Let's twist it this way. Should be, it should be going this way. Okay. Do you hold the button back? I've got it. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's the. I'm sorry. I'm reading it wrong. Oh. It's the other way. The. There we go. Makes it much easier, doesn't it? Okay. Do you mind killing the overhead for me real quick? Let me take a reading of this. That's a 5.6. Let's see if it makes any difference. So an F5.6 is what I would need to get proper exposure right now. It now reads an 8. So 5.6 to an 8 is two full stops, I'm pretty sure. All right. Just putting this on, the light, quadrupled its brightness, as, as 
John will tell you, because it's streaming into his eyes right now. Right? That's a huge difference. When you're struggling with light, you're trying to light a huge area or whatever, that kind of magnification is, is serious magnification. Okay, so let's direct this a little bit and get it off of some people if we can. Okay, now that the demonstration part is over, I would like a couple of people to come over here and position this light so that I have Rembrandt lighting on tray. Let's be sure it's a couple of people so that we get enough hands on it to make sure. Keep the displays on. Now you can you can go ahead and start trying. Trey, be sure you're looking at yourself up there. Your nose should be pointed right at that screen. Like that. Just like that. There you go. It's a square. Yeah. So I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what your issue is. If you come back, you'll see that they'll be more like a triangle. But you're getting this shadow, this weird light on his upper lip. What you want to do is go up. It's just not high enough right now to be making the effect that you want it to make. You want to keep going up till that shadow from his nose kind of goes down and fills in that area on his upper lip. Yeah. Don't hesitate, just keep going. We lock it in there. And I think then if you move a little bit to your right, you'll close it in. There we go. Right? Now it's going to look different on everybody's face. Trey's got it on glasses. That's making a little yeah, break in there, right? Oh, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. We, li we light people with glasses sometimes, right? But there's de we've definitely got the Rembrandt lighting. Okay. That's step number one. Be sure to wrap the sandbag around so it's yeah. as little contour to the floor as possible. Yeah. Um, now, you'll notice right now we're at 5,600 degrees Kelvin. That is because this is a daylight light, and it is 5,600 degrees Kelvin. So we should be getting a pretty good, I think I'm a little hot, we should be getting a pretty good representation of Trey's skin tone right there. Okay? All right. We're going to do a three-point lighting setup. So the next thing we need to set up is going to be a fill light, and that's going to be, I need a couple of people to come over here and set, you know, well, one thing we didn't get is we probably don't have any light stands because the, the kit. The yeah, so we might have to go get three light stands. I don't know, let's take a look. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. If they do, I totally forgot whether they do or not. Okay, good. Let's set up a, I need a couple people to come over here and set up a 120D. It's going to be very similar to how we did this one.
Actually, 5.6 to an 8 is one stop. I'm sorry. So we doubled the amount of light when we put that reflector on it, which is still pretty significant. So you're going to end up... Oh, no. They set it up. Never mind. Okay, so let's get barn doors and a reflector on this. Do we have reflectors? No, no, yeah, no, no. I know we got reflectors. I'm not sure if we got. Do, oh, good. Okay. Yeah, there, oh, oh, about eye level. So where are yours, good? About yay high. Let's bring it in close to the camera as we can. Right there. Okay. Perfect. And is everything that they pointed at Trey? By the way, the fact that we have these lights is one of the greatest advantages to you guys. That, oh, yeah. that you're not having to deal with those airy lights we dealt with the first couple of days. You're not having to deal with that amount of power. You're not having to deal with cameras that require uh, uh, that require wall power. These will work on batteries. You have to make sure the batteries are charged when you check them out. Uh, great advantage. These are really, really great lights. They're incredibly bright. Good. All right, let's strike it. <laughs> Striking. Okay, what are we on? 40%? Take it up to 100 for a second. <laughs> we'll have fried tray for lunch. No other reason. At this point, our fill light is actually brighter than our key light, right? Which is not what the fill light is for. Should we open the barn doors more? No, let's keep it. Okay. Let's keep it off as much as we can right now. In fact, let me kind of pan it just a little bit. I'll deal with the I'll deal with the uh, background later. We'll get to that. Okay, let's take it down. Take take it down to fifty for me. Let's just see where, where we at. We're at fifty. Let me know when you're there. There. So that's fifty percent on this light. Let's take it up to. Let me see seventy five. Seventy five. Okay, so over here we're at seven. Over here, we're at 4.5. So we've got shadow, but it's not too overly weirdly dramatic. So I'm going to go with that for now. Okay. Um, let's do take it up and angle it down until we get it off the background. Probably smart. Like that. Like. I'll, probably, I'll probably I'll do that and then go then go nice up with it, straight up with it. You hold this nice yeah. up. I'm not sure what that means. Did it stick? Go up from here first anyway. You want to go at okay. the top first so if it gets out of your reach. Okay. I mean, that's tight. Okay. 
Go up there. Oh, that may be as much as you'll need. Also want to get the shadow. Okay, let's uh, lock it there just for a second. Let me try to. It's so nice to be able to touch the light. Try to do it from the wrong side. Okay. All right, let's keep going up with it a little bit more. Okay, up there. Is that as high as we got? I think so. Is it sticking here? I don't. I wonder if there is it's supposed to be screwed. There we go. Okay. Just a it's just sticking. Oh, it's all gone dark. Years. That's ha I know. That's believe me. I've done that before. <laughs> okay, that's taking some of the light off the background. You're still probably going to be struggling with it, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Now, here's what I'm not doing this semester because every time I do it, all the students flip out on me. If I wanted to do a proper backlight. I would need the backlight to be here. If I put it on a stand, I see the stand. What, what is common practice would be to set up a C stand, put the light on the, where's that? On the bottom. Yeah. Put the light, the light will fit on this end of the pole, extend it out, and put it above and behind the subject. Got to hang some sandbags on one end to counteract the weight, Let's and these it. aren't the greatest C stands, so I've seen them start to bend a little bit <laughs> on occasion, and I don't really like the way it looks anyway. So instead of a traditional backlight, we're going to do something called a kicker, which means we now have to set up the other 120D who hasn't done anything yet. Right in front of you. Gotcha. I hope. <laughs> and you can stage it right around where you want, right here. Right here. Doing that. Do you want the bar doors on this one too? Yes, please.
Let me see, there might, there might be another. It is male to male, I need. You just told me that, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let me see, there might be, I think we think there's another male to male in here. Let's see. You need another Yeah. I think we got it. Not yet. Let's slide it back into here. Wherever we, as far as we can go without getting it in the shot. Okay, I think you're... Nope, you're good. You can keep going. Okay. Yep. Actually, we're going to have pretty much of a backlight. Okay. All right. Let's let's leave it there. Let's angle it down. Because we're going to go way up. Fired up. All right, so we need to swing it a little bit to make sure it's on tray. All right, there we go. Okay, now, what percentage does it say it's on? 45. Let's take it up to 100 just for a minute. Okay. Generally speaking, we're starting off today doing just a general kind of pleasant interview setup, which we're going to turn into low key. You do want your fill light to be a stop or two lower than your key, so you still have some definition. And you want your backlight to be a stop or two hotter. Okay? Now, we're at 100% on this light, light right now. And it's a 9.0. We're also getting some, as you can see, we're getting some spill. Could you, some, could you hand me the little flag, Kai? The way we will eventually deal with that is by doing that. All right, so that's what we're getting right now. 
Um, that's a pretty standard interview kind of setup three point lighting. The, the top light, the back light is a little hotter than the key and the fill light is a little dimmer than the key. Our biggest problem right now is our background sucks. Not saying anything about the guys in the background, but the background generally sucks. Okay? So there, there, there are a couple of problems for me. All of this white, let's, let's, I need two people, set up a seat stand. There is a problem with um, this, this side just being, other than John, just being kind of blank. And there's a problem with the fact that there's nothing over here. Now, the first thing I would do, just to see what happens. That one you pull up. Okay, this one. Yeah. Turn the lights up in here all the way, see if it gets us anywhere. This. And And then it should start. Yeah. Just turn the monitors on to give us some space. But it's still kind of sinister and gloomy looking back there. So I think what we should do to fill that space in would be something like, we have the amaranth, right? The flat panels? Yes. Let's, let's get a couple of people working with Kai to set up one of the amaranths in this room. And whenever you get, oh, see, stands up. Bring it over here. Okay. Where do you want it? Right there. Right uh, here? Yeah, right there. That's good. Because what I want to do is I want to lock this in to being right here. So. That means this needs to be like... Yeah, so this here. needs to come out. Let's leave that tight for now. Let me have the other end because I can put the pin in this end. So let's bring this end out. Okay, that's how the slides go. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'm going to go ahead. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in right there for a second. So we've got these little holes here that will hold the pins. Just put it on the chair. Bowen, what is the light supposed to be doing? It's going to be in the back room. Light on the ground? No, no, it needs to be on a stand. We're out of light stands. All right, we'll, we'll need to go get one. Unless you just want to use a C stand. Uh, it's a lot. We can just use a C stand. We've got lots of C stands. Just use a C stand. I keep forgetting the top. Okay. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to angle it like this because we're going to have to angle it down. So let's back this out a little bit now. Okay. Loosen it here and let's bring it down. All right, till we get... Keep going. Okay, so lock that in right there. All right. All right. Now we don't have any of the spill from the backlight. All right, so this is this is what we're looking at right now. If somebody wants to, I'm going to need one more C stand. You're welcome to go ahead and set one up. Yeah, where at? Right here. So how? So Oh, I see. It just fits right on there, and then you Sorry about this. Oh. Now, I will say, this is pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hot. Yep. But you still have your skin. Yes, exactly. I got a hand over here from somebody. Okay, so let's... let's just, all right, do you see this wire? You know how to get this wire down? Oh, I thought you hooked in this. Yeah, so bring it out. Let's be sure it's in on all sides. Now let's hook it back in. See if that holds it. No, we can plug it. Yeah. Okay. Are these newer lights? Uh, I think they work the same. We won't use the batteries. Okay. Right about here. Okay. So I'm trying to do something. Not that room, Kai. This one. Oh, okay. We're seeing that one. Let's just let's just log it back in the in the corner off to the side. Okay, since I'm trying to do something that feels kind of pleasant for an interview, one of the things I want to do is warm this light up a bit. And I can do that with color temperature. Here's the question. To make these lights feel a little warmer and more inviting, do I go up? Bradley, can you grab a sandbag, please? Yeah. Okay. 
With the with the color temperature, or do I go down? Down. Down. Excuse me. Okay. So going down is telling the camera that the light is more orange. And since it's telling the camera it's more orange, it's making it more blue. So instead, we'll go up. So let's take it up. Let's just see what 7,000 looks like. Do you want this light on? Yes, please. So I want it back kind of in the corner where you are. Tucked it back in there. And pointed at the wall, back wall. Ooh, don't move a thing. I really like that. Okay, so now we've got a nice, pleasant, we've got a slightly warmer color. I can go a little, maybe even go a little warmer. Yeah, that's kind of nice and pleasant. Okay, now my other problem is where John is <coughs> looks like shit. Right? Now I could block some of the light off of it, and it would look better, but all that would really do is make it dimmer. So, let me see where I want this. I want to put this just about here. So what I need to do is get the arm out. Actually, we need to be on top of it. On top of it? Yeah. 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 Yes, we can do that. That's fine. Yep. I, I put, let's put it in before you do that, before it goes yeah. out of reach. So I can loosen this. You can see this has been done before. I can shove this right in here and tighten it. It'll hold it nicely into place. Okay? So now we have to go up. And I want it to be less distinct than that. So yeah, as close, just bring it in closer to the light. You might be able to just swing it. Okay, maybe I'll right, we'll sp split bit. the difference on that a little bit if you don't mind. Yeah, let's try about there. Okay, the one thing we've done is we've taken the light off of oh, the yeah. tray, so we need to back it out. Yeah, so now we've got light fully on tray. So, we've done a three-point lighting scenario, right? We have got a key light, we have got a fill light, we have got a backlight, and then we've dealt with the background by shaping, by adding light, by brightening. Now, one thing I might do, <laughs> I'm going to go in here and put on two stops of ND, which is going to make everything too dark. All right? Now I have to open the aperture up two stops, which is going to take me to about there. Okay? Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add, boost it to four stops of ND, which means I have to open up two more stops which is going to take me from there to there. And what happened? The depth of the depth yes. Of the we were able to really kind of blur the background out a little bit. Now, I'm not saying this is the... And I, I've lost something on this light back here. I'm not sure what it is. Okay. I'm not saying by any stretch of the imagination this is the greatest lighting setup that ever lived. It's just it's, yeah, I was noticing it was doing that. That's interesting. It's like moving. There. All right. 
but it's, it's, it's a nice setup. It feels like it's warm. There, it looks like there's some sunlight coming into some places. We've got a nice contrast on tray. We could, if we wanted to, make the contrast a little less. Right? We've still got the shadows. That's not, that's not bad. We've got that top and shoulder light, right, that is kind of separating him from the background. It's still a little sinister in the background, I would say, because we were hitting the top of the desk a little bit more. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna say okay on that. Now, what I want us to do now is change this into low key. Low key meaning lots of shadows. Low key meaning lots of drama. Low key meaning very kind of sinister. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the warmth off of it. <laughs> and just go back to it looking like it should at 5,600 degrees Kelvin. We may play with that as well. All right? So that takes us back into the color space that uh, the camera and the, and the other images are telling us we need to have. Now, one of the first things that you want to do is you kind of want to maybe get rid of your fill light. So one of the things we could experiment with is that. So already that is a much different. Oh, I meant to build the china ball. I got to build the china ball before next week. Um, that means nothing to you guys, but it means something else. Um, now another thing I think I would do. is change what we have here as a backlight into what we would call a kicker, which is a kind of a rim light scenario, right? And I'm going to bring it down so that now we've got this sort of chiaroscuro feel of light against dark against light. We've got that shadow that's being created going down the side of Trey's face. If I turn this back on, that's a very different feeling than that, right? I might also just take the exposure down by maybe a half a stop, okay? So, let's think about our list. In these two settings, intensity, all right, we dealt with that. This is our brightest light. We used it for the key. We used our fill lights and our backlights, other lights. Uh, intensity, quality. Oh, shoot. I need another C-stand. I just realized I totally forgot a step. I completely forgot a step. Okay, hold on. Guys, I need a C-stand set up. Who wants to do it this time? Who hasn't done one yet? Come learn. You need to know. Sorry, Trey. That's why I have my list. I should have gone over it in my head. And we need this. I'm going to go over there because we're going to cover the other half of the light with that. Okay, so let's turn this back on, get it back where it was. Okay, we did contrast, right? Deciding on the hmm? yeah over here. But you shouldn't have. You shouldn't be doing it. They should be doing it. There should be two people doing this. Okay, let me just tell you what I want to do. I want to diffuse from tray from here to there. 
want to diffuse the light hitting him? Yes. So, what I want is that about there. Okay. So, what I'd say, what I'd say is set it up down here like this, so all we have to do is go straight up with it. Okay? Did it come into the shot? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't paying attention over there. Thank you. So, there's a pen here. I think we go through with that hole, and it is. So, you should be able to slide it in there now. All right, be sure. Yeah, okay. Okay. Also, check where your tall leg is on the torso. Hmm? The tall leg needs to be pointed towards Oh, yeah, yeah, hold on. I need to do this. Where did you this? Yeah, so. Actually, it's people towards the weight. Not that there's that much weight to it, but it's not too much. Okay, so now. Right. Now, notice the bottom of this is kind of a soft edge. So we're not really getting too hard a shadow at the bottom. So if I keep going up, I'll be able to let the hard light hit Trey's chest but we'll have this nice, softer, diffused light on his face. Now, I'm going to have to recheck our exposure. All right, that takes us to a 4.0, which is about there. Okay? Now, since we're back to doing that first one again, because I screwed up, let's take this back up and warm it up again. Okay? And then I can put in two stops. And I've got about two stops to play with. I thought it was too bright before anyway. It actually looks better that way. Let's just go one stop to about there. Okay? Now the light on Trey's face is much less, the shadows on Trey's face are much less sharp. We've got a nice delineation between Trey's you know, face and his upper torso. There's a you know, nice, nice, this kind of just feathers off as it goes down, right? We've got the background broken up or the other part of the background lit. Uh, we've got a decent, so let's do it again, intensity, quality. We've softened part of the light. Other two lights are still hard. Contrast, we've decided how bright or how dark to make the shadows compared to the key and the, also the backlight. Uh, direction, we decided we were going to go for Rembrandt lighting. Okay. Um, color, we warmed it up so that it'll feel a little more inviting and a little more pleasant. And shape, we cre we, we, uh, for one thing, we've kept the light from going down the lens and we've created this sort of Venetian blind shape which suggests sunlight being warmer coming in to the background. Okay, now, that one's done. We'll go back to where we were. So, should always do the list. Need to remember that. I need to remember that. Okay. So, we said we're going to kill the fill light. Okay. The next thing we're going to do because we want to. Oh, is it? I thought it didn't change much. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Spooky. We are going to have to open it up just a little bit there. All right? We're going to leave the light relatively soft for the time being. We'll probably end up making it a lot harder. But I kind of like the way this is looking right now. Let's go to about there. We're going to turn this light, as we did before, into what's referred to as a kicker, which is kind of a, which is basically a rim light. Like we talked about last time. Let's bring it around here until we get a really sort of hot area on the side of Trey's face. 
Now we've got this very shadowy area going here with a really bright area over here and a really dark area over, uh, uh, a darker area over here, right? So we've got that kind of, this is chiar chiaroscuro is the Italian word for light and dark. So the idea of layering light and dark, either foreground or background or across a subject is one of the things that we're, we're playing with now. Um, let's stick with Trey for the time being. I think the kicker needs some color. And I think it needs to be something pretty dramatic. Let's get the red. Do you want this red or the, the, the party red. Just bring that whole case out, uh, that, that whole bag out. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm going, to, I'm going to kind of set this stuff up, guys, and then I'm going to hand it over to you, so be thinking about what you would do. I'll need one more of these, Kai. Thank you. Feels like something's going on somewhere. Okay, now our background is too bright. Right? For this, I think we can afford to have it more distinct. So you see the further, oh, this is not good. Okay. Who said that? I also don't have a sandbag on this, so. See, I hate those things. <laughs> All right, let's get the weight. That's pretty much close to it. All right, so let's get some. And now, what I want to do, remove this. Make them do it. That's good. I don't have much weight on this. I'm going to move it. It's going to fall anyway. So. We move this further away, we make this a more kind of distinct statement in the background. Now, I want to cool this down. Let's get actual blue. Like, not from this? Yeah, no, from there. Yeah, oh. from, I'm sorry, that's why I meant my actual blue. Okay. I, I, didn't, I didn't phrase that very well. Wow. Yes? Can we, can we try a cookie? Um, yeah, you want to? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you go get it? Yeah, go get it. Oh. Do I have a blue in there, Kai? Oh, perfect. And if you want to start looking, the next thing we want to see. Sickly green is what I'm looking for, so if we have that, we watch it.
like that. I'm not, I'm not unhappy with that at all. So the further away you get, the more distinct and the weirder it will be if you want it to feel really weird. Okay. It kind of looks like a, a rainforest cafe. So <laughs> yes, yes, it does. There's kind of a camouflage feel to it. Okay. Now, one of the problems I have established for myself here is that I have I'm doing the background and tray with the same light. But one of the things I want to do, I think, is get rid of the soft light anyway. Because I think the harder shadows will work better. And that will allow me to bring this light down. And that gives us both a little bit of darkness in the background and a little bit of darkness in the foreground. Now, we've obviously got a problem back there. Let me get let me get the green too. There's one that's also just kind of green, right? Let me, uh, let me look at that. There's like a teal. Let me try that. Actually, never mind. I think there might be more of a green okay. than you other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now to really kind of finish this out. I need another volunteer to be on camera. What, since you're here, come over here for a second. So bring a chair. All right, I'm going to move you around. I think I'm on the right side. No, I'm on. Yes, yes. No, I'm on the wrong side. I'm over here. <laughs> okay, so sit in this chair for me. I'm going to move you if you don't mind. All right. You will have to stay relatively still in order for this to work. Okay, okay I'm going to move a little <laughs> forward. Okay, now, you stand up. like a human shield or something. I'm just right here. And this door, because I can see you in a second. And then I'm going to take everything down two stops. Other, other side, other side. Yeah. That's Loki. Now, you know, the only thing I would say for, for my own personal taste right now, it's something we're doing really fast, is that I think this is a And I think, given that we've got somebody up here, back here, we're trying to sit a little bit. I think we can do it with this being. You talk about your stuff? Yep. Okay. Low key. Start with three point lighting. We removed one light from the three point lighting, right? We changed the backlight. We did all sorts of things to, to, the, to the key light. We lit the background, right? Okay, now it's 210. We've got 15 minutes. Five, for five minutes, you guys get together, change things around, change colors, change lights, move things around, do what you want to do. Wait, do I have to sit still for 15 minutes? <laughs>
I've been doing it for four uh, I don't four think we need you in this to do the lighting. You can, you can slide on out. In fact, you may want to participate in some of the lighting. Uh -oh. And I don't care what you do to this, just play. Just play. Just, play. just talk to each other so you're not con con counteracting each yeah. other as you're doing things. What's the move? Well, oh. Yeah, yeah. I feel like. Go ahead. Go. That's cool. You're in the shot now. Oh, yeah. Just, just go, yeah, right there. A little, a little bit more, a little bit more. Right there. You can go up if you want to. No, you can get closer. Or just, do you have an OC-47? We can just pin this back. I don't like the way that light stand is set up, though. Is it? Are those legs all the way apart, Kai? I guess they are. Okay. It's a, it's a little weird. Uh, could, could you hold the top down? Let's just be sure. It's okay. Let's just be sure it doesn't fall over. Okay, so I'm going to narrate for the video. So we're removing the kicker to be a little thinner. This one is very thick. In all honesty, for this kind of feel, that light coming down lower and staying lower might be kind of interesting. You know, get the shadows going across his face instead of down. Try this. 
See, that looks good. That looks cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we've got, it, it gradiates now a little bit, so it's not all yeah, solid yeah. light or solid yeah, dark. You've got an area that's no. not light and an area that's not dark. Okay. We don't get paid enough for those. Yeah, you don't get paid enough. Time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so got Leave it down. Leave it down. Yeah. Okay. Also, don't forget you have a key light that you can use muscle. That is so true. But we're low key. Mm -hmm. Bring this up a little bit now. I want to look at the point of that off. I think it's too late. Yeah, and then oh, it's, it's a little bit. Yeah. 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 Or if we change the way. Now the other thing you don't like a player. God damn, I hate this damn. Um, where's the Venetian blind? Where's the Venetian blind? Oh, I'll go back. Let me see a second. Okay. And then strike. I think. Did you say strike and then? Striking. Is that undone? It does. Yeah, it's undone everything. Now yeah. it doesn't. You can you can bring it down. That's your key light now. Is what's happening. Mm -hmm. That's a fifty. Now, one thing that won't work is this. It a little bit, but not much because the light's too soft. You have to have a hard light in order to cast these kinds of shadows. <laughs> what else you guys want to do? Anything quick? Because we're out of time. You guys will have a couple of lab sessions just to work on things on your own as a group. So, we good?